Good morning, guys. I have a word for someone or for a specific group of people. Somebody is, okay, let's just say somebody was feeling weary or somebody was questioning how they're going to do it. They're like, God, I don't know how I'm going to do this. God, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of starting over. I talked about this, I think it was like three weeks ago, and I said that there's going to be a new beginning in the fall for a group of people. And there's going to be a group of people that are going to abruptly have to move. And then there's going to be those who are moving, but they're aware that they're moving, as in like God has already prepped them for it, right? Moving is not always fun. It's exciting when you're going somewhere that you know you have planned and somewhere better than where you used to be and it's you know it's planned and everything's organized it can be fun right but when it's not planned or let's just say it is planned but you're not really secure in the decisions that you're making because you don't understand them lean not on your own understanding but it is God who is pushing you to make these decisions you have to understand that you know, when, when God is involved, it's for a specific reason, and the outcome is going to be greater than what you could even imagine, right? But when you don't have a full understanding, you can be questioning. There's going to be a little bit of anxiety. Let's not pretend like we're going to have no anxiety at all. But the Lord says, cast your anxieties on him, right? But it's normal to feel a little bit like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? What's next? What's next? What's next? You know what I mean? Just like Abraham, he was like, what? You're telling me God to pack up everything and to leave, to leave everything behind, to leave what I've known for all these years, to leave like where I grew up and my, you see what I'm saying? Like Abraham had to up and leave. You see what I'm saying? Some of you guys, you are going to be just fine. Okay. You're going to be okay. And it may not make sense now, but it will make sense later on. You see what I'm saying? It will make sense later on. So the Lord brought me to the reference of Abraham when God gave Abraham's instructions and said, you have to leave everything behind. And anybody that hears that is going to be like, whoa, this is big, you know? So imagine like leaving the city, the town, the country, the area, and this is somewhere that you have been all your life, and then you have to go somewhere else. You're going to be a little bit like, whoa, you see what I'm saying? And of course, you're going to feel a little bit like, wow, I got to start over. I got to do this. I got to do that. The Lord said, you're going to get back on track. You are going to get back on track and you are going to be just fine. Do not focus on the, the, the external. Do not focus on what it looks like, because I'm telling you right now, God can bring miracles at any time. And every decision that we make affects our future. Do you guys know that? And this is why obedience is better than sacrifice. So it may not make sense now. You may be questioning everything, but you have to understand it's going to work out for your greatest good, especially, especially because God has given you these specific instructions. Now, for many of you guys, it doesn't always have to mean like moving. Okay, I just had to bring that up because we're literally almost in fall. We, are we in fall yet? I think we're almost in fall. And I was like, wait, isn't this where all the changes are about to happen for a lot of people? <laughs> you know so I was like whoa um but it doesn't have to be moving literally it can be like you know you're starting fresh at a job or you you may have just been terminated from a job your contract may have been terminated you you know what I mean it may you may have had to move in with someone like a family member or move out of somewhere you know like again it doesn't have to be moving it could be just you starting over or something going on in your life where you're like man i got to start from the beginning again i got to start from scratch again because something may have happened or whatever or you may have lost something you have to have faith in god and you have to trust god especially if the the decisions that you made it was according to what god has told you to do so do not focus on what it looks like on the external focus on where you're going to be and why you had to make these specific decisions, okay? There is another word I gotta, I'm going to bring to you guys later on today, and it's like, <laughs> it does connect with this, but the reason why I'm going to do a separate video is because I want to I wanna go into the scripture reference of the Israelites, you know, when they left Egypt. So I'm not going to go into full context of that word right now, because it's a good word, but I'm going to say this. Remember when the Israelites were you know, in slavery because of Pharaoh, right? You have to understand something. Imagine being in slavery most of your life or a good percentage of your life, and then you're finally free. You would not know how to act. Okay, like, you see what I'm saying? So it's like, imagine now you're finally free, but that trauma, that torment of the slavery, that, you know, being abused and all these things, like, you would not know how to cope 
like after leaving like you're happy that you're freed but then it's almost like wow like I don't even know what to do now now that I'm freed from this turmoil or now that I'm free from this these bondages like what am I gonna do now right so you could only imagine how the Israelites were feeling like knowing yeah they're probably really happy that they're free but then it's like now they got to start from scratch right they got to start from scratch and they got to figure out how to get everything, but that is where their faith had to be put into God. That is where their faith also had to be put into the instructions that God gave Moses. Remember, some of them didn't even have faith. They were like, man, I want to go back. <laughs> you know what I mean? So please just listen to God, okay? Because like I said, some of the Israelites, like when they had to follow Moses and they didn't know what God's plan is, they just know they had to, you know, listen to Moses because God was speaking to Mo Moses. Some of them started to doubt Moses. You see what I'm saying? Like, because it it's to the point where they wanted to go back to the slavery, you know, environment because they couldn't they couldn't understand like why Moses was leading them out of Egypt. Like they knew why, but they couldn't understand like where they were heading because they were going through a lot. They were hungry. All these things were going on. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Like you may be going through so much right now. You may be suffering right now or struggling right now or fighting off warfare right now. And all these things are happening. And God is giving you instructions that makes no sense. But you're like, man, I don't want to go through this. Da, 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 da. No, just be obedient. I'm telling you, be obedient. God's plan is to prosper you, not to harm you. you have to, I'm going to I'm gonna share this with you, okay? I'm going to share this with you. God's plan is to prosper you, not to harm you. Sometimes, okay, things in life will happen where God will say, hey, I need you to pack up right now, and I need you to move to this location. And you'll be like, God, that makes no sense. That makes no sense, God. I'm here. I'm in a place where I'm comfortable. You know, I'm paying my bills. And da -da -da -da. and God's like, no, up and leave right now. Let's just say you up and leave and you move to the city. And let's just say you go to the city and you're like, you're realizing that you're homeless for two weeks until you get your place. Okay, because your place is not ready. And during those two weeks, you're you're thinking about how you regret moving, how you regret going to that city, and how you should have just stayed at your last place because you don't have to go through all this, and how you're hungry right now, and it's frustrating, and how you should just go back. You're thinking all these things in two weeks, but God is like, just hold off. I got you. Just hold off. I got you. I got you. Just just relax. And but all these thoughts are coming in your head, like God, why would you tell me to get up and leave? Why would why would you make me go through this? Let's just say now you didn't go back, you trusted God, and throughout the two weeks, God is bringing people in to bless you so you can buy some food, you can buy things that you need. You're still like uncomfortable. Let's just say you're uncomfortable. You're you know going from shelter to shelter, or you're sometimes you're outside sleeping, and then he people but people are coming in and blessing you and giving you things that's gonna help you get by, but you're still doubting it, but you're also still holding on to the faith, right? Like a mustard seed, right? Now let's just say now. Two weeks is up and you finally move into your place and your place is better than the place that you used to be at. Not only that, you're comfortable and not only that, but you get a nice job offer. Now, let's just say that you doubted God and you went back to that last place. Let's just say the last place you were at caught on fire. Let's just say that. Let's just say that it caught on fire. Let's just say that you found out that it caught on fire, that whole neighborhood caught on fire. God forbid, you know, let's just say the whole neighborhood, something happened to the whole neighborhood. And then you're realizing that God actually saved your life. My plan is to prosper you and not to what? Not to harm you. Okay. So sometimes God sees the best circumstance in our situation and we don't see it that way, but it's the best because had we stayed or had we not listened, something bad could have happened to us. So God's like, you know what? In both cases, you're going to struggle. You may suffer a little bit, but in this outcome, you will no longer be here. This outcome, it's going to damage you versus this outcome. It's going to be a testimony. This outcome, you're gaining wisdom from it. This outcome, it's strengthening you. It's prepping you. So I'm going to let you go in this direction. You see what I'm saying? So I just want to share that with you guys. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.